How's it going guys? Electron man. All I can say is oh my goodness gracious. HOA subdivision sales, garage sales. My goodness. Um, what a haul. Uh, probably one of the biggest hauls I've ever had. Uh, it's crazy. I'm going to try to kind of go through all this stuff with you and uh, show you my my uh, my, my uh, collection of stuff that uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to start boxing this stuff and get a better uh, way to uh, categorize things. I uh, seems like I'm buying more than selling right now, and uh, not a bad thing when the deals are there. You want to purchase them, but I'm running out of room to store all this stuff. It's getting uh, getting out of control, out of control on me, guys. But uh, anyway, we'll kind of just start, and I'll probably stop this vi video to kind of package things and then start it back up. But it kind of we'll start at the bottom here. I got this uh, Canon scan 8800f high-end scanner uh by the way this hoa i was at was uh, was uh the, the house has probably started about 350 400k i'm probably maybe 500k and up so uh to kind of give you an idea the neighborhood was a really high-end neighborhood and hoa high-end neighborhood garage sales you know uh, community garage sales and it was like you know every street there had three or four i, I probably hit i don't know how many but there, it was like Every street I went up and down had three, four, five garage sales on it, so a lot of garage sales. But anyway, I picked up this Canon scan, 8800 comps. I mean, I gave $5 for it. It's in the box. Um, looks like it might have been pulled out one time and used. Well, what a bargain. I got this shelf for a dollar just because I need shelves all the time. I uh, picked up this old, um, it's a 12 volt. You know, you hook this to battery and use a cigarette plug um, just because it was 50 cents. And it's handed have around. I picked up this uh, cool looking uh, water speaker. It's even got a battery in it. It's, it's active and I checked it. You can hear the relay kick on and off. But uh, this is really cool. You can hook uh, your garden hose up. It's actually got, it's got two of them. So I have to do a little more research on why it's got two. But I'm thinking that it can uh, do two zones, maybe. Not sure. I, I, I know I gave $2 for it. And I looked it up, and it's about a forty or fifty dollar item. So again, this you know, they they were this is a giveaway garage sales. I'll call them. Uh, again, here we got nothing fancy here. This is a can from Hansel. These are not really expensive, but it was fifty cents. I mean, who can't use a little compressor and uh, flashlight that you hook in the back of the car? I've got one now. Mine's not quite that big, and they they work and they're handy to have just in case your you know spares flat or. Whatever, it doesn't hurt to have one of them for 50 cents. How can you go wrong? Let me start kind of boxing this stuff up and then we'll come back for more. We got to kind of box started there. I got these, uh, I think these come off of uh, phone systems, but basically what it is is it's a, basically it's a grounding or uh, it's to splice it into the ground wire and uh, for grounding lugs. I mean, I got a whole bag of them again for 50 cents. Somebody probably worked at the phone cutter, so I don't know how they ended up with a big old bag of these, but uh, for 50 cents. If I use one of them along the lanes, <laughs> I've come in good. And who doesn't need a good uh, ground clamp or wire clamp once in a while? So, anyway, uh, we picked that bag up. I could, like I said, for 50 cents. I uh, picked up uh, some Memorex DBS 90s. And uh, nothing great here. Uh, this was on a table that anything was a quarter. Uh, three brand new ones in a package worth a quarter. I felt like no problem there. Got this right here. I actually offered a dollar and he took it. Um, 800 milliamp uh, uh, trickle charger comps I looked online are about 30 bucks this is a name brand brand new in the box can't go wrong with that I mean a dollar another uh, high profit item I would call it um, found this in an old uh, uh, actually found this one at an old estate sale I, I'm, I'm covering the whole weekend not just the HOA but 99% of this came from the HOA area but uh, it's smart cutter and uh, brand new in a box and I mean it looks like it's from like the 60s or 70s it's kind of nostalgic but it's brand new in a box I gave 50 cents for the hardly ever buy anything at a estate so they actually had it marked on the in the garage they had like tables of this knickknack stuff that was marked a dollar or 50 cents so it's cheap so I thought for 50 cents it's worth checking it out I, I still need to go do some research on that and see if there's anything worth having let me go ahead and stop and get this moved around okay guys uh Picked up an Xbox 360 controller and I actually gave a dollar like it said, but uh, I mean it's it's one of the clear ones. It's uh, definitely from what I could tell worth a uh, worth a dollar. I think you can get about ten to fifteen dollars a piece out of these. Uh, kind of follows my ten percent rule. I think I 
came out good on that but it's a wireless controller can't go wrong with that uh, found these cool little which I'm a sucker for anytime I see voltmeter I mean I'm an electron man how can I not love little meters but uh anyway found a this is a GE little uh, analog with a battery tester built on it and uh, oh got me a old school like I remember back in when I was in grade school uh, pencil sharpener I mean isn't that not cool and uh, I already plugged in and checked it I mean I think I gave like 50 cents for that I mean that's like super cool I bet you that could, I bet you I have enough for a concert I bet you something like that could bring $20 you just they don't even make them like this anymore this thing's like made out of steel and the real deal let me stop here and I'm still boxing stuff and trying to work my way through all the and at that same grass I got that other meter I found this one another little cool analog meter I mean I think they're just cool but I gave like I gave a I think I gave a dollar for this whole box and and I, I'm really tickled because it's got some extra probes in it um, got a cool look a little uh, clamp on amp meter here you can tell this guy was I think he, they said he was in the phone uh, phone repair but it just kind of knick-knack stuff but I mean all good little electronic stuff handy for me and I, I which to me actually this is probably worth five but anyway let me go ahead and stop this and get this moved over I'm trying to kind of organize as we go so I'm stopping and start guys I found this if you don't know what this is this is the so that you can if you're not real flexible and you're having a hard time getting the back of your shoe in use it as a shoehorn with an extension and a spring I never seen one I'm a fat guy I'm actually gonna use this I never seen one before it's pretty cool but uh anyway yeah it's a it's a shoehorn on a uh, on a spring so that you can I don't have to bend so far. Kind of interesting, but uh, never seen one before. Didn't even know they made them. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and open up. I gave a dollar for that, by the way. Got a knickknack. I always look in these little toolboxes. A lot of times they're full of stuff, and kind of like this one here. It's just a lot of knickknack stuff. Nothing, nothing uh, to write home about. But uh, all in all, they come in handy. Screws, bolts, extra stuff. If they're cheap enough, which I think I gave like a dollar for that, you, you can't go wrong. I got this cool little old lamp. Everybody's seen probably one of these one time or another. I just thought it was cool. I kind of have a kind of sucker for old lamps. So fluorescent lamp. I gave a dollar for it. I don't know if it's really worth it. It's so heavy, it's probably hard to ship. I might find a use for it, or somebody will need a use for it. I just couldn't see. Not giving a dollar for it, I felt like it's worth that. But anyway, I got this lamp. Now I got to figure out somewhere to put it. And then I found this old Crosley, uh, it's supposed to, you know, imitate an old uh, antique radio. It's all uh, new and uh, it's got a tape player and uh, uh, what else has it got here? FM, AM tape on and off. So it's an AM, FM cassette player. I just thought it was kind of cool. It's in really nice shape. Uh, if I hadn't been like bargain deal, it was at one of them HOA sales. I paid $2 for it. And uh, I mean, I know it's worth, it's worth 20 easy. I haven't checked it out, but I bet you the tape player even works fine on it. Come out of one of them nice fancy houses, but uh, for $2, I thought it was worth investing in it. And then I bought it in another place, which my guess is they probably ran into the problem once. It's a Healy Cool set, but I, this is one of those Healy Cool sets for, uh, make sure I'm not opening it upside down. I hate these boxes. You never know your guess, but and did I, did I open it right or backwards? I opened it backwards. See, that's what I hate about this. At least say watch top and bottom. Uh, but, uh, anyway, this is a Healy course set for the, I think it's for those old Ford spark plugs that break off to get them out and recoil them. I know that for sure. And uh, it's got the whole set of Healy coils. It looks like maybe it has one Healy coil missing. And I gave $3 for this and uh, I guarantee you, somebody can use this for a lot more money than I just paid for it, and it's it's got it's complete, including the. I mean, it's never even. It doesn't look like. It looks like they bought it with the intention to, to go ahead and do it, and then they uh, they actually never even used the thing. But uh, I, you can watch YouTube videos on how you re uh, you get those old spark plugs out, and uh, I think you use this this right here is how you do it. I do some more research on it, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, spark plug part number. So I know it's a it's a Healy cool. So it uh, definitely 
redo that spark plugs but i believe this tool right here is to get that broken spark plug out to to redo it but anyway for two dollars i wasn't going to pass that up and then what else have we got oh we got another interesting this weekend i picked up two different all-purpose cutting machines and this one's a benzomatic and uh just look at the stickers the way it was uh the target stickers and uh, i did give a dollar for it but uh i just thought it was i mean i wish the box was a little bit better shape because i think this kind of almost falls into to the collectibles i mean i don't know how much collectible it would be for something like this but this has got to be 40 or 50 years old And if it says it cuts aluminum asbestos, huh? Like you want to, asbestos tile, like you would want to be cutting any of that stuff now for mica. Wow. Anyway, I just thought it was interesting and for, for two bucks, what the heck. Or not a dollar. I mean, for a dollar it was worth it. And it's like brand new. I mean, it's all there. Anyway, just kind of interesting. I might have did a little more research on that, but for a dollar, I figure I can't go wrong. I picked up all these funnels for, for, it was a half, for, for 25 cents and, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine funnels. These will just stay in the garage. You can always use a funnel. Who can pass up a whole bag of funnels for a quarter? And I uh, also got a Grand Theft Auto Vice City for 50 cents. And I believe this is a PC game, which is cool. I'm sure it's worth at least $5. So I figured I did all right on it. And then I bought this, and I'm going to have to do a little more research on it. But uh, it's Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. And Premier Allen Tins, and I know it was bought at Best Buy for $149. Um, don't want to be giving away any codes or anything, so I'm kind of cover this up. But uh, I don't know how old this is. Um, I'm thinking this might be still something that's uh, that's definitely usable, and uh, I paid three bucks for it on one of those HOA sales. I think I'm I might be good. This might be one of my better. Uh, better rounds I picked up and I have to do some comps and see what I got but anyway I picked it up for three bucks figured for three dollars even if it's old software that's not usable anymore but I checked to make sure all the CDs are there and all the documents and all the COA and all that information is there and uh well, let me go ahead and shut it off here and get this okay now we're finally whittling down on this pile guys I'm telling you crazy weekend of buying um he wanted fifteen dollars for this and uh, it's not shortwave you know I'm more in a shortwave but it, it isn't pretty good condition it's an old uh, Philco it's definitely uh, 50s 50s 60s um, I already checked it doesn't work and it's, I'm gonna put it on the on the shelf to do a restoration on um, we'll get to it maybe next winter or something I'm gonna be honest right now I opened it up and uh, I think we're all right on tubes and it has so many wax caps in it there must be 30 of them so uh, I'm sure it just needs a recap and, and probably bring it right back up and tune it and line it and to be perfect but it's, I mean, I either need to come with a better way to replace wax caps or whatever because that is so time consuming. But this thing is just full of worst one I've ever seen so far I've ever opened with wax caps. I mean, literally, there's like 30 of them in there. But uh, anyway, for, for the $10 I got in, if anything, I think I could uh, sell it to somebody else that wants to do the, the restoration job on it for, for 30 or 40. Probably not a 10 times deal, but uh, I kind of had a little liking to it and I could still easily double or triple my money on it. And then the last item I got here, guys, is this Circuit Explorer Air 2. And uh, let me kind of get it moved over here. It's a Circuit Explorer Air 2, which is basically a, a uh, it's kind of like a three-year printer, but it's a 3D cutter, is, I guess is the way to put it. And it'll do like paper vinyl, iron-ohms, you know, it'll cut any vinyl, it'll cut thin card stock. I've been wanting one for a while. Um, I've got a 3D printer, but... It's kind of be cool to be able to make labels like the back of radio dials and stuff. And anyway, I wanted to play with it. And uh, it was at one of them high end HOA sales. And it came with a, a whole bag of accessories, a bunch of extra stock as far as rolls and cutters, etc. So it kind of loaded up on it. And, and uh, I mean, it's dirtier now than it was when I picked it up. It was super clean. It looked like it was brand new, hardly used. Um, I gave. 40 for it and i think i might have overpaid a little bit um i was kind of you know i was kind of hitting so many grosses there i wasn't really stopping and doing comps like i did and i remember seeing these and i'd kind of interested when i was thinking they were around three or four hundred dollars but this particular one's really around about two hundred dollars um, of course with all the accessories and everything i'm probably in the 250 range 
So I really would have probably got this, like to got this for about $25 instead of $40, but it's something I wanted and I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in a loss factor of it. I don't think, uh, I think I could easily get 100, 120 out of it with uh, with all the extra stuff that it comes with pretty easy. So I'm not on the downside of, of the purchase. Just, uh, I probably, if I'd have looked at the comps a little better, I probably would have tried to get it for about 25, but anyway, we'll have to, maybe I'll do a video on playing with this thing. Um, there's probably plenty of them, but just uh kind of kind of sparked my interest and you know i like 3d printers and i thought it'd be cool to have a 3d uh cutter like this we'll have to see how good it works etc but anyway guys that's it that uh i think i've went through everything uh this <laughs> for the last weekend i don't even know i can't even got a count on it um i'll try to sit down and remember it kind of and if you read uh read under the the comments here i'll kind of give you i think about how many garage sales i hit and what my final dollar figure was and how much i spent um I know I don't. I didn't spend more than a hundred. I know that because I kind of started with a hundred, and I still had. If I do it that way, but then I think I picked up a sandwich. So I don't know. I think I probably spent about seventy dollars. Is I think is what I spent. But I bought a lot of stuff, and uh, some of it a little higher end. Like this was the highest end out of forty dollars for the cutter there. But uh, I bought some ten dollar items. You know those those add up a lot more. But anyway, it was a great weekend. Uh, if you haven't already, you know if, the, if you have a high end HOA around you that's having a weekend where where they're letting all the uh, the residents have garage sales hit it i mean it was to me it was probably one of the better uh sweet zones i've been in as far as garage sales especially the high end stuff like that of course you hit some that you know they wanted too much for it some didn't have much but uh all in all i, I would suggest hoa weekend yard sales like that are a really good thing have a great day this is electron man if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and hit that bell so you know when the next school video is coming